Here in this video, we're going to start talking about Chapter 2, which is an overview of world trade. More specifically, we're going to talk about, um, uh, look at uh, several things. Uh, for example, with who we trade, okay? and how much we trade, what we trade. Okay? So what do we trade like in terms of goods and services? All right. Okay, now uh, let's start with uh, who trades with whom, okay? Now, uh, first of all, I want you guys to pull out a blank piece of paper and try to guess what uh, which countries uh, or economies are the major trading partners of the United States, okay? Again, which economies are the major or most important trading partners of the United States? You can probably write down top five or even top ten. All right? Now, go ahead and pause the video and write it down. Okay? All right. Um, let's check out, you know, what we got here. Okay? And see if that's consistent with... Uh, your guesses now here uh, this is a data uh, this um, chart was made uh, with the data uh, up to August 2020 uh, you can see it from here okay and um, later on I will give you guys uh, uh, a chance to explore the government website and find the most up-to-date numbers all right, here you would find that um, in that time period, um, Mexico is our uh, largest uh, or number one trading partners, uh, which is followed by Canada, number two, and China, number three. Uh, these three trading partners, you would find that um, if we add our exports to them and our imports from them, the uh, trade volume are actually very close, okay? So the total trade between the U.S. and Mexico, Mexico uh, was $337 billion um, in that period of time. And um, the uh, trade between the U.S. with Canada is 335 billion dollars and the trade with China is 332 billion dollars okay so each of these uh, three accounts for approximately 14 percent of the US total trade okay so if we add them up uh, the top three trading partners of the US accounts for let's see um, more than 40 percent of the US total trade Right, and um, after China, we we see Japan, Germany, South Korea, UK. These major uh, economies okay, are among our most important trading partners. Now, here um, you could probably um, find that you know we actually trade a lot with our labors, okay, with our labor economies. Mexico and Canada, these are top two, right? <coughs> Excuse me. At the same time, we also trade a lot with other major economies around the world, like China, Japan, South Korea. These are the major uh, economies in Asia. Um, Germany, UK, and Switzerland, uh, these are the major economies in Europe, right? Um, as mentioned later, I will give you a chance to explore the U.S. Census Bureau website where you can find most up-to-date information okay, about the, the U.S. Uh, trading partners. All right, let's try this one more time, but um, uh, we're going to guess you know, the major trading partners of Germany instead of the U.S., Okay. Now, 
we want to do this one more time because I want you guys to apply what we just learned from our guesses of the U.S. trading partners. Remember, um, in our summary, we said that we the U.S. trades a lot with our labor economies and with the major economies around the world, right? So use the same intuition in trying to guess uh, who are the major trading partners of Germany. Again, you can go ahead and pause the video and write down like top five or top ten um, economies as the major trading partners of Germany. All right. Okay, let's check it out. Um, this is based upon the uh, 2020 data, the trading data. Okay, and uh, it's compiled in 2021. So this is most up to date uh, information um, when they made the chart. And on your left hand side, you find the uh, German exports. Okay. Uh, to these economies and on your right hand side these uh, red bars shows uh, the German uh, imports from these economies okay now again here you can pause the video and try to compare your guesses with the actual um, data okay and see how many you got and uh, how many you missed and why you missed okay now uh, let's see if the same intuition would work here okay uh, the first one we said that um, you know an economy is supposed to trade a lot with its laboring economies and here we find that you know on the export side uh, Germany exported a lot to France Netherlands uh, Poland, Italy, Austria, uh, Switzerland, all of these are uh, Germany's laboring countries, right? So the same thing works here, okay? On the import side, again, uh, Germany imported a lot from Poland, uh, France, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Austria, Belgium, okay? It looks like it works pretty well, okay? And um, the second thing we summarized before was um, an economy is supposed to trade more with the major economies, with the largest economies around the world. That's why we see United States, China here, okay, listed as a top two export destinations. And on the right hand side, again, it, uh, Germany ex imported a lot from China and the United States as well, okay. So uh, from here, we learn that what matters when we predict the trade volume between the two economies, uh, at least two things we already explored. Number one is um, the geographical distance. Okay, um, that's why we said you know they trade more with their laboring economies. Number two is the size of these economies. Okay, so the larger the size of the economies, the more uh, they tend to trade with each other, right? Now, this immediately reminds us of the gravity model in physics, or um, we call Newton's law of universal gravitation. Okay, this law, I believe, in your you know um, high school, uh, middle school, you learned about these in your science class, right? So we're saying that the attraction between the two particles, uh, one and two, uh, in the universe um, depends upon two things. Number one is the masses of the two particles. Number two is the distance between the centers of the two particles, okay? So um, here uh, you find the mathematical form uh, F1, F2. F1 is just the attractive force of M1, oh, I'm sorry, uh, particle 1 to particle 2. And F2 is the attractive force of particle 2 to 1. Okay? And these two should be equal. Okay? And um, they equal to um, G, which is a gravitational uh, constant, right? Um, times 
the mass of particle one uh, times the mass of particle two divided by uh, the squared um, distance between the two particles. Okay. Now, um, intuitively speaking, this means um, the larger the two particles, the stronger attractive forces we should find between them. Also, uh, the closer the, the two particles, um, the stronger the uh, attractive forces between them, right? So here, uh, we find that, you know, this is pretty much consistent with what we saw uh, with the treat data, okay? So let's borrow from Newton in trying to come up with our own version for uh, international treat, okay? So that's a gravity uh, model of international treat. Uh, the mathematical form, again, the very basic form is going to be the same as we saw before, okay? But the only thing different here is the interpretation. So Fij here means the treating, uh, the treat volume between uh, economy I and economy J, okay? And we still keep this gravitational uh, constant, and later we could explain, you know, what this means in treat, okay? And M1 here, it just means the size of economy one. In economics, we know it's measured or commonly measured by GDP, right? So this should be the economy I's GDP and the times economy J's GDP. And the physical distance between the two economies, it could be measured in miles or, or in kilometers, okay? We actually have a more general form of this gravi uh, gravity model, okay? The general form, um, we just introduce the exponents of these variables. Uh, so beta one, beta two, beta three, and these constants are allowed to differ from one. In other words, they don't have to be just, you know, uh, GDP I times GDP J. Uh, these, um, um, the sizes of the economies, they might be powered in uh, this model, okay? The same works for the distance, the same way, all right? Okay, and um, now we're gonna talk about, you know, how we could test or estimate the gravity model, okay? Because, you know, we already had this idea, okay? Or you could say guess, okay? We guess uh, what we borrowed from physics would work uh, for uh, international trade, okay, or, or when we predict the trade volume. But we're not sure about that, okay? So we have to test them. But before that, we have to figure out some um, um, mathematical or statistical details, okay? The first one is which one is the dependent variable here, and which ones are independent variables. Okay, and uh, we also have constant, as we said before, then what would be the difference between the constant and an independent variable, okay? So think about this, and um, um, I, I think in the next video, we're going to start from here and talk about these things, okay? Um, these are actually the discussion more general, okay, than uh, just the gravity model or international trade. This is more about econometrics, okay, or statistics, uh, which you learn from other cor courses, okay. But this is quite important for uh, for us to empirically test uh, a model, okay. So we, I really want to clear this up before. Uh, we start looking at, you know, our uh, empirical investigation, all right?